Hi guys, okay, so I have a quick Marshalls haul. I ran to one that's like 10, 12 miles away, and it is the best one. Um, the way they have, you could tell people that are in fashion merchandising actually work there and set up the end caps because it's like all glamour, it's all purses, and everything is just designed. It's not just in, uh, thrown together. So when I first walked in, I saw some journals, and I found this. Okay, it's this light pink, it's crocodile, okay? And it has a ribbon, and it just opens like this, and it has gold on the ends. You see that? And then it has pages. And I was just telling my friend that I want to start writing in a journal again. I saw this, and it was calling me. <laughs> so I got this. This was, um, they put it on it backwards, six ninety nine. And then right up there, they had, like, makeup bags and all this stuff, and I saw a lot of stuff. I almost got, like, a train case kind of thing, but I have a four-drawer plastic thing. So I was like, if I do that, what am I going to use my plastic drawer for? So I'm still not sure how I want to organize my makeup. I still don't like the way it is. Um, so I was looking around in the beauty section, and I couldn't find anything. I found this um, smoothing mint foot cream. Because of the summer in sandals, my heels get very dry and it was clearance for two dollars so I decided to try it I haven't oh yeah it smells good um, it just says it's got some funky copywriting which is what I'm I do for a living but it's kind of a little over the top <laughs> um, so then I was looking around and I found one box like this empty and I was like oh there's no makeup but I, I found the journal and stuff so I was like okay it wasn't a complete waste so I went around I looked around and I found um, a pair of pajama pants that had like tattooed inspired roses and stuff on it like my one t-shirt got home tried it on they're too big so I have to return them which means I get to go back to the other one by my house that has the cool beauty books so what I'm gonna do is go back return that and then buy another book so I'm not overspending. I planned on spending that $10. So <laughs> so I'm, I'm going near the checkout and I see these bins. And I see purple and I see blue. And I go, oh my god. It's makeup. And they had hard candy. I mean, they had every single color uh, eyeshadow that I've ever known they've had. I, they had, I mean, they had bins. I mean, the bins were just like this deep, okay? You can't even see it on camera. They're like this deep, and it was all full. And I could have easily spent $100 in hard candy, and I was like, that's it. Just try a few eyeshadows and try some lip glosses, and if I really like them, I could go back next week because there's no way all of that whole bin is going to sell. So I got three eyeshadows, okay. And the first one is Sour Apple. These are my first hard candies ever. Okay, so it's that light green. The, the coloring right now is really bad in here. I'm sorry, guys. This is Peppermint Patty. It's just a whitish color. They have another one that's called, um, oh, no, Snow Cone. No, is that the blue one? There's another white one. I didn't get, uh, and then I got Cotton Candy, a pink. You can see that one. And then I was looking at the lip glosses, and some I've tried some of the lip gloss I don't like. And some of them, they have really funky colors, like orange, and I, I see no purpose of having that. So I was looking, and they had tons of these kind, which are super shine lip glosses, like in these thin things. So I just kept looking at the bottoms. And I found one in Baby Doll. I don't know if you can read that. It looks like this. And it smells so good. And what I like about it is that he, it has a brush. Okay, so you can... Brush it on. No extra brush needed. Okay. Um, and it smells like cotton candy, actually. Um, so those are the ones that I got. And they were uh, two ninety nine dollars each. Uh, can you see it? There we go. So I got four of them. Um, but like I said, and they had Urban Decay. They had those sparkler pens, the ones that I had. They had another one. But it was like orangey brown. I'd rather just have the ones that I have. I would never wear that one. I think it was called Flare. Um, and that's all they had at Urban Decay. It wasn't that much in there. They had that Model Co. brand. A lot of that stuff is just expensive. For being at Marshall's, like, 
I'm not going to pay $10 for a bronzer, you know. So, uh, like I said, there was tons, absolutely tons. And I had tons in my hand, and after I went and looked at the colors, I just wasn't thrilled, and I don't know. I really need to start using the stuff that I have. I mean, I use it, but it's just like lip gloss it lasts I mean if you if I could probably use this for a couple of months every single day and it would last you know it would probably that's what it would take for it to go to be gone so I just have so much so I really need to go through some of it a lot of it is just absolutely brand new some of them are still sealed so I mean I think I'm gonna just start going through stuff and just add it to my giveaway bin speaking of giveaways after I post this video um, I'm going to do all the remaining questions from the six people that uh, commented last night and the giveaway contest is closed right now. Do all that. Then I'm going to come back on camera. I'm going to announce the winner. Okay? And um, no one knows what's in the package. I, I just figured it's like a question and answer giveaway. You know, it's it's nice. You'll, you'll get a nice little, you know, package in the mail, like one of those small mailers full of stuff. And I think the person will enjoy it. Um, so I will be back, and please rate. Bye.